I don't know if I should show you this, but okay, I'll show you. Welcome to the Pole Vault Vlog, where we talk everything. Pole Vault. Commercial time, commercial time. Everybody loves commercial time. First and foremost, yeah. I want to give a huge thank you to all 26 people who are supporting this channel and keeping it alive on Patreon. I love you guys. Love. <laughs> If you like these videos and want to keep them going, head over to Patreon. There's a link in the description below and sign up. It's how this thing survives. It starts out at 50 cents a video, which I hope you think these are worth at least 50 cents a video. Which ends up being $2 a month because I make four videos a month, which equals math. If you don't like math, just, just trust me on that one. Now, Patreon is the only thing keeping this thing alive right now. With that said, picture this vlog like a little puppy. Don't let the puppy die. <laughs> I tried to do that 14 times and that's the best take I had. Patreon! Guys, also another camp popped up on my uh, radar. So now we have the one on June 29th to the 30th in Glendive, Montana. And then immediately after that on July 1st and the 2nd, I'm heading to Cut Bank, Montana and doing another two day camp. There's still a couple other ones being put together. I will let you know as soon as I know. Boom, go to my camps. Let's hang out. Fun will be had. Woo. Guys, I got something really cool in the mail yesterday. I got this book from Pole Vault legend, Joe Dial. The Joe Dial story. It's a story about Joe Dial. Just a few little facts about Joe Dial. Joe was a world record holder, national record holder, first high school pole vaulter to jump 18 feet, and he was the first college vaulter to jump 19 feet, and these are just naming a few. Here's a bunch of his other ac accolades. Joe's pretty awesome. Now, Joe Dial is a character to say the least. I love Joe Dial. In one of the earliest vlogs I made when I was documenting my training on my other channel, I talked about the story of Joe Dial and the Pope. He had two tickets to go to the Vatican, and he didn't have anyone to go with. And he was at a meet, and he saw Joe Dial. So him and Joe Dial go to the Vatican, and Joe Dial's, I guess, like, Yeah, let's go. What's at the Vatican? <laughs> And he's like, well, we go see the Pope. It's like, oh, hell yeah, let's go see the Pope. Go to the Vatican. They're, I, I don't know what they're doing. Here's how I picture it. They're just kind of standing there. You know, everyone's looking at the Pope. The Pope's waving, you know, back and forth. They're just waving back and forth. And then everyone's just doing what they're supposed to do, like being blessed by the Pope. Pope raises his hand, waves. Joe Dial jumps up. <laughs> Man, I love that story. Now, on page 171, meeting with the Pope. That means you get Joe Dial's perspective of the story right in his book. That's awesome. <laughs> now, just glancing through the book, it's got all sorts of stories from high school to college to elite to him coaching now and, and his family stuff. And it's just Joe Dial's story. I mean, just getting a few Joe Dial tips and tricks is worth the book in my opinion anyway. I'll put a link down in the description if you guys are interested in getting a copy of the book. It just, I can't wait to dive into it. <sighs> smells like a book. Does Joe Dial smell like books? If he did, this book smells like Joe Dial. <laughs> that was dumb. Last but not least, before we get into the stuff I'm probably shouldn't show you, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Last but not least, if you've explored my old training videos, you'll see these badass treadmills on there. Well, I'm gonna sell both of them because I got a wedding next summer. So, I realize I have a wedding to pay for, so I'm gonna sell these badass treadmills. Hey. Got 21 with all my clothes on. These are the exact same ones I used from 2012 to 2015 when I was a professional pole vaulter, and they took my training to a whole new level. They go up to 22 miles an hour and have a 30 degree incline. They're also pretty safe. They have an instant stop button that will go from 22 to zero in less than a second. It also has a rack for a safety harness so if someone does slip on it, they're safe. And they made me fast. Last time I used them, one worked absolutely flawlessly and my treadmill guy said, the other one will work, it just needs a little work from a mechanic. It should be a pretty quick fix, he said. Or you can just use them for parts, which was my intention in the first place, because I don't know where else you would find parts for this thing. <laughs> so that was my plan. I only needed one. They're hard to find. They have only ever been used by me and a local high school. One other thing you should know is they run on three-phase energy. So you need a three-phase converter or you need three-phase in your facility. I was told brand new these things cost $30,000 each, so $60,000 for both of them, and I'm just trying to get rid of them for five. Wedding money, guys. I just need some wedding money. The only other stipulation is you have to pick them up because I just don't have time to drive them all over the country, so 
If you're interested, I'll also throw in all the training programs that I've used on them while I was training full time. They're all yours. Guys, these are potentially a once in a lifetime opportunity to have something like this and I wanted to give them to you first. So hurry up and get them before they're gone. I need to get rid of these quick. Let me know. Guys, if you're interested, I'm selling both of them for $5,000. They come as a pair. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys the option first. And uh, if you're not interested, that's okay. I'll just start reaching out to fitness facilities and colleges around the area and then just, they will be gone. Let me know. All right, now it's time to talk about my favorite thing to do with a pole vault pole besides pole vaulting that I probably shouldn't show you. Warning, do not try this at home or the track because it can stress out your pole and you might get hurt. But you can also get hurt walking down the street and stepping on a rock and then rolling your ankles. So with that said, I recommend wearing a helmet, especially when you're walking across the street and in public. You'll look cool. Let's do this. Gotta go. gotta see things. things you'll need. A pole. Number two, a freshman. Number three, that freshman's shoes. Number four, a vault crew. How to do it? Put the pole in the box. Take that freshman's shoes and put it on top of the pole. Have a vaulter or two. Brace the pole above the middle sticker on the pole. Pull back and... I got it! <laughs> So I'll be honest, I don't do this a lot, but sometimes pole vault gets too serious and the practices get too serious and kids are getting in their head and, and coaches are getting frustrated. So I use this as a way to boost morale a little bit and bring some fun back into the event. Because in all honesty, our sport is ridiculous. We run full speed with a stick to propel ourselves up over another stick. Everything's easier if you're having fun. The sport is supposed to be fun. I should probably get that tattooed on my face. Oh, we lost the shoe, it's behind you. That went negative distance. That went negative distance, guys. <laughs> Let's review some videos. All right, first video is of Ryan, and this is an interesting, awesome video. The kid is quick, he's super strong, and if you watch that top arm, um, it's bent the whole time. Like, I don't know. Who can do that? I can't do that. The kid's so strong. So I always, I use the analogy, imagine you're hanging on a high bar, right? Or a pull-up bar. And see who can hang there the longest. If your elbows are bent or if your arms are straight. Who's gonna be able to hang the longest? Probably straight arm guy, right? As soon as your arms, you're gonna get tired faster. So you, you have less strength there. So I sent him the plant video to work on just being tall so he can swing off that top arm instead of muscling over it because this is harder. But he's still clearing bars that way. So imagine if he keeps that arm straight, he's gonna jump so much higher. Killer jump, man. I just, yeah. I don't know how you do it. You're just stronger than me, man. All right, next video is of Sydney and dude, this video is filmed at the barn. That's Coach Saint. Coach Saint is a master. He's a wizard. Graduated from Hogwarts, I know it. So Sydney has an awesome jump here again, and we're kind of at the end of the season, so the biggest bang for her buck, when she comes through, is just working on that turn a little bit. Where are you? I can't find you. I sent her the turn video because it looks pretty good, and then we just stop and shoot for the bar, and we go over this backwards thing. So if we do a lot of those Caroline White drills, we're already gonna be half turned, and that's gonna be easy just to do another little quarter turn. And then uh, if you turn, you're gonna be six inches to a foot higher instantly because your hips are gonna be like this versus like that. Like, I know this isn't my back, but I can't even bend my hand that way, and my back works the same way. So just, boo, harder, easier. Yeah, biggest bang for your buck. It's gonna be sick. Can't wait to hear about how it goes. Woo! <laughs> I'm getting carried away. All right, last but not least, we have Aiden. 
Now Aiden has a really great jump too. He said he's been working on his plant a whole bunch and I absolutely love the plant. It's early, it's up, it's in front of him and it just picks him up off the ground just like I'm always looking for. The issue seems to be that his arms are just awesome. It's just a little bit too much arms, not enough legs. So again, the way I like to look at it is if the arms are going, the legs have to match. They almost have to be in unison with each other. If there's, even if it's like a lot of arms and there has to be a lot of legs, there's this, there's this like harmonious balance that has to happen. Right now it looks like there's a lot of arms so those hips don't go up very high. So this kind of goes back to that swunch idea is put those quads in the hands. So we want to swing a lot harder. We want to get those quads up on the hands so we can keep moving up the pole. So I sent him the video of uh, how to swing a little bit better and then I sent him the video of the hula hoop. Pretend there's a hula hoop on the end of the pole so we can rock back on it and then go through that hula hoop and that'll help a whole bunch. I see this all the time. One thing to think about guys is when you're swinging, just because your feet are over the bar doesn't mean you should shoot at it. You need to get those hips up over the bar or over top of your shoulders so it shoots you up towards the crossbar. So it's just a bad habit to break, but God, that plant is pretty. If you would like your video reviewed, send it to team hoocom slash gear. Please do not send me videos on social media. For the love of God, just don't. So I have Patreon set up that if you spend $25 or more a month, you get your name in every single vlog. I have people doing that right now and you get to use your social media, you get to put your club in there, your high school, your name, what, whatever you want. If you have a weird nickname, I'll throw it in there. Aaron Utenberger wanted Pole Vault Canada. Mary Owen wanted at Pole Vault Alien. Awesome. <laughs> and Isaac Osmer wanted at Isaac, Isaac Osmer. Makes sense. Tom Bryant. Thank you for supporting this channel. Velocity Raptors Pole Vault and Brian Vesey. Thanks for keeping this thing going. You guys are rock stars. With that being said, there are many ways to pole vault. Many, many, many ways to pole vault if you like what I say and it works. Cool. If it doesn't work, cool. You learned what doesn't work and then try something else. I'm just providing doors so you can explore the door. Uh, life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. I will see you guys. Well, next week's a live stream. So get ready for that live stream next week. Let me know what you want to talk about. Yeah. Boom. Yeah.